my guys, welcome back to the finale. Let's get this shit done. Come on. Oopsie doozy. Now this may end up being an extremely short episode. It's still... Say once again, just waiting in the doorway. No, go away, go away. You're dead. Oh, that was lucky. Wonder how much slowdown we'll end up getting at this rate. Deck. You're dead. Yeah, go away. Oh, let's just recharge. Creepiest bosses going. Ooh. Meet Mecha Ridley. Why in the blazes you would build an animatronic version of yourself, I do not know. But I went and did that anyway. Yeah, since getting all the items, he now has a lot more health. The armor plating on his chest has got more resistance. That was such a simple boss as well. Which isn't a bad thing, but I tell you what, first time I played this, I had no clue. Come on, spread that off. There we go. Right, super missile time. And now he does the lasers of death in the missiles. Marvellous. No, oh, cop that one up. No, oh, oh you bleeder. Awfully risky here. I'll tell you what, on hard mode, he just destroys you. You only had a weird six energy tanks at the max. Oh, thank you. And each swipe takes out an entire energy tank. <gasps> oh no! Now, this is fun. Because if you do it just right, you can get out of there using nothing but shine sparks. Could have hit that properly. 
And another thing, if I can remember if I find it. There we go. An extra shaft in case you skipped out and get in the power bombs. Which I quite frankly should have pointed out earlier. <laughs> That's part of the 10% rule, which I've never been able to pull off. But then I just doubt I ever will. Use our little robot friend. Which we had done before. No, that way. Or just sit there, one or the other, that's fine. I'm going to do it again. And cock it up. Ah, uh, we still got plenty of time. Really want to show this little trick if I can pull it off. Ah, uh, no, right, you know what? Sod it, can't be bothered. We'll do this the old fashioned way because normally what you could do is in Shine Spark. No, I'm not going to be able to show it there, am I? Shine Spark right across this room. No, bloody hell, boy. Skip this annoying little robot. Shine spark through that open door. Straight across here, into that shaft, all the way through to this little hangar area where we now have fun times of fighting these buggers. No shit. I'm just supposed to activate them both. Oh no 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 no. Go away. Yeah, these are the only threats in the entire game. There we go, there's one. Come on you bugger. Now they're both dead. Come on. <gasps> and I'll love leaving him because you'll see in a sec. Go on, Sam. Somehow she knows how to fly space pirate ships. Because if you kill him, he turns up anyway, and normally you can leave it. And they'll both get up there. It's rather amusing just seeing them kill each other. I think that is some, it's somewhat of a retcon because in Super Metroid when you go up to Criteria you find the um, ship wreckage and you're not entirely sure whose it is and you do see those robots very similar on that ship. But the interesting thing is, in the official manga, those very same robots are creations of the Chozo. Albeit somewhat uh, crude in comparison to some of their other creations. Do forgive me, I'm just twiddling one or two little things, seeing if I can get it just right. Might as well do it on the credits, because no one really cares much about the credits. Oh, my back. Mm. 
Now, the real question is, I did ask it in the last episode. Well, no, I didn't ask it. I mentioned doing the other Metroid games. Now, do we want me to do it in chronological order, as according to the in-game timeline, or do we want me to go and do it as per release? Either which way is fine by me, but do let me know. Now for my favourite part. Well, not this bit, but this is a nice little homage and nod to the manga as well. On the left is Old Bird, on the right is Grey Voice. And the interesting thing is that Grey Voice is the one who allowed his DNA to be mixed with Samus. Because you can't just mix any old shows up. Well, you could do, but Grey Voice was the one who opted. So technically, in a weird sort of roundabout way, he is Samus. Samus is father which is kind of bizarre because yes she does have a human father and a human mother but both dead but Grey Voice is Samus's Chozo father this is a nice little thing being able to press the ZR or just on the Game Boy the R button to get rid of that and see Samus's pretty little face Right then guys, thank you very much, we'll leave it here.